so in the last lecture we discussed uh, the uh, need for converting the sentences into the vectors and uh, and one of the reasons for that was like how to you know feed these sentences into the existing machine learning architectures which actually require uh, inputs in the form of numerical data so one of the reasons was that and the second important reason uh, other than this was how to you know come up with these numerical data which are present in the vector uh, in such a way that it captures or encapsulates the semantic relationship among the sentences and that was another key takeaway point uh, from the last lecture discussion and i again repeat that we want to select the uh, numerical uh, you know values within these vectors in such a way that it has to semantically capture the uh, imp, uh, significance of the sentences so now today we will discuss some techniques which actually convert sentences or words in the vector format and the very first algorithm that actually is used for this purpose is bag of words which we also call as bow in short in order to understand the concept of bag of words uh, i have here a, 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 a example which actually contains four reviews for a for a particular uh, you know pizza hut company so uh, these reviews are uh, you know as follows that the first review actually says that the pizza is very mouth watering and in budget the second review says that this pizza is not mouth watering and in budget and the third review says that this pizza is delicious and inexpensive and the fourth one says that the pizza is mouth watering and pizza tastes good so we have to see that how to you know convert these reviews which are you know given over here into the form of vector so that we can use uh, you know machine learning algorithms to learn the essence of these uh, you know reviews so these reviews are also basically called as documents and uh, uh, in the in the in the area of uh, natural language processing these individual basically uh, reviews are also called as documents so we call these also as documents and the collection of these documents that is these individual documents that you have you know these r1 r2 r3 though we are writing it as reviews they are documents but collection of these documents is also called as corpus in the area of natural language processing so we will see you know uh, how bag of words will be able to you know convert these documents or reviews into the form of vector which actually will be used for feeding into the machine learning architectures so in order to convert these uh, reviews into a form of vector there there are there are actually two steps so the first step is basically to construct a dictionary so the dictionary is basically we are representing it by a set v which actually contains all the combine all the words that are present in the corpus that we are actually considering or maybe you can take the complete dictionary of english words if we restrict ourselves to the words which are appearing in the complete corpus that we are looking here then uh, you know dictionary will be you know a set of all the words like you know this pizza is very mouth watering like that you will you know put all these individual words all these individual words and if and if they are repeating you keep you have to keep only single word uh, and then you know form a set of that words and you call that set as v the dimension of this will be you know 1 cross d you can say that and uh, you know where d is basically the total number of words that you have in the dictionary so the important thing is first of all you have to construct a dictionary which we are calling as v and you know all the elements of this set are basically the words that you have in the corpus which you are considering for the task of natural language processing the second step basically is you know uh, to form a vector so let us say if you want to uh, you know convert the review 1 in the form of vector that will be you know given by v1 for review 2 it will be v2 for review 3 it will be v4 3 and for review 4 it will be v4 so all these will be the vector that will be formed using the algorithm which we are discussing now which is bag of words so using this bag of words we will actually convert these reviews into the form of vectors so in order to form a vector v1 what you will do is you will first of all create a one dimensional vector of size d a uh, one cross d where d are the total number of words that are present in the corpus and what you do is you know uh, you will create something like this so this dimension is one cross d 
and here you can write the you know for 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 your understanding you can write uh, the words which are there that is the pizza is very mouth watering and in budget and you have other other words also which are like you know taste good inexpensive so they will be you know here like taste good inexpensive so what you have to do now is you have to see like which words are actually appearing in the in the review and you have to keep the corresponding uh, uh, number in this particular vector so for for example in the first review you have this pizza is very mouth watering and in budget so all these words are actually appearing so we will put 1 1 1 1 1 1 and 1 and 1 here so all these uh, you know words will have one and the others which are not there and other words which are not there and are still in the corpus uh, will be given zeros so this is basically the uh, the vector representation v1 for the first review similarly you can make the vector representation uh, for the second review which is v2 in the same fashion but note that in some situations where the words are actually repeating twice for example here the pizza is actually repeating twice one is here and another one is here so what you can do is uh, you you can replace this one in that particular uh, representation by two so when you uh, uh, write vector representation for v4 the corresponding uh, the the corresponding uh, component pizza here will have a value of 2 so here it is still 1 uh, just to avoid confusion so in review 4 the corresponding vector representation having pizza as one of the elements the value of that will now be 2 instead of 1 and the sole reason for that is because pizza is actually ap happening two times in the in the review so what actually these elements in the uh, array represent is the frequency of the word that is appearing in the review so if the word is appearing single time you can write it once and if the word is appearing multiple times and depending upon the number of times it is appearing you have to write that count here so it's a frequency of appearance that is for that particular review so now uh, in this way actually you can represent the uh, vector representation for the particular review so this particular way of representing a vector is basically done in the case of bag of words so bag of word algorithm actually represents uh, represent reviews in this format of vector representation so one of the disadvantages of uh, you know representing the reviews in the form of a vector representation here is that is the the length of this vector so you can see the length of this vector can you know uh, run to a very large value if your data corpus contains you know large number of reviews so for example if you have any practical data set uh, of google uh, which has large number of uh, reviews what will happen is the amount of words that are used in these reviews will increase tremendously so the value of d will be very large so the value of d here will be very large so what happens is you know if the value of d is very large let us say it is 1000 so only few of these entries in this vector will be ones and the rest of the uh, remaining elements of these vector will be all zeros so uh, so out of you know 1000 entries only few entries of let us say 5 or 10 are one but the rest of them are all zeros so these vectors which are actually you know created using bag of word algorithms are actually known as sparse vectors by saying sparse means that only few elements of these vectors are one whereas the majority of the elements on these vectors are all zero so the sparsity of these vectors is a problem because uh, unnecessary it will consume lot a large amount of space because you know the vector size is very large and most of them are zero and few of them are only one so it's a very inefficient way of representing the uh, reviews because of this sparse nature of these vector so this is actually one of the drawbacks for this particular you know bag of words another drawback that we have in case of representing the vectors using bag of words is that it cannot actually measure the semantic relationship between the between the reviews what i'm trying to say here is that the vectors that you are getting using bag of word algorithm cannot capture the semantic relationship between the reviews so let us see why this is so so in order to illustrate this i have repeated these you know tweets or reviews again here which we were actually discussing in our earlier slide so 
so let us see like you know uh, let us read these uh, reviews r1 and r2 so the first review says that this pizza is very mouth watering and in budget and the second review says that the pizza is not mouth watering and in budget so you can you can see that both the reviews are you know some way or the other like you know one is a positive review about the pizza and another one is the negative review of, about the pizza but they mutually agree on budget so the important thing is when you convert these uh, reviews into the vector format so we want to see whether the vectors which are representing these reviews are they capturing the semantic relationship within these uh, reviews or not so the first review which is here um, the review r1 if we represent it in a vector format it looks like this so here you can see um, the dimension of this vector will be uh, you know uh, one cross d where d is the number of words that are present in the total corpus which you are actually uh, you know dealing with so here you know if the corpus has let us say 1000 uh, words so the dimension of this uh, vector the one which we are having here will be 1 cross 1000 and uh, and you can see that the words which are actually present in this review i am keeping the values corresponding to the presence of that word as 1 so you can see here this is present in review r1 one is uh, you know pizza is present in review r1 so i am keeping it as 1 and similarly for other words also the ones which are present in the review i am keeping it as 1 but for the rest i am keeping it as 0 and similarly for the second review also uh we wrote this vector where the presence of ones are actually the presence of words in the review and absence of one is basically the absence of word in the reviews so here we have another vector so the important thing now is like if i want to calculate the magnitude of these vectors individually so let me write this vector as let us say v1 and this vector as v2 so if i calculate the magnitude of the vectors v1 and magnitude of the vectors v2 then it will be what it will be under root of 8 and for v2 also it will be under root of 8 so you can calculate that it's very easy you know each of the components you have to square and then take the square root and these x1 x2 x3 are all uh, x1 x2 x3 all of, all of them are the individual components of these vectors so if you take square root of under 8 it is something around you know 2.82 and same for this so these two vectors though they have same vector length but the important thing is you know to calculate how much far these two vectors are in the d dimensional space that is one of the important things okay, so if we calculate the distance between the two vectors v1 and v2 then the distance between the two vectors comes out to be square root of 2 that is very simple this is just if you observe it uh, here this subtraction cancels out this subtraction cancels out only elements of the vector which remains is this and this so the number of words which are actually differing in the two reviews contribute to the difference in the vectors so here we have this value as root 2 so now you observe carefully that you know the distance between the two vectors v1 and v2 is only 1.414 so now you can see that uh, you know the magnitude of the vectors is 2.8 and the difference between these two vectors is 1.414 so that means you know these two vectors are very close to each other this is one vector v1 and another vector is v2 so if they are very close to each other the tendency is you know that the machine learning algorithm will you know cluster these two vectors into a in you know, a single cluster so this single cluster will be you know let us say positive comments so the key take away point here is that using bag of words the distance between v1 and v2 is very small but you know if you observe carefully the reviews are completely opposite of each other one review is saying that the pizza is very mouth watering another review is saying that a pizza is not mouth watering at all but what we are doing now we are actually you know because the distance is too close the machine learning algorithm may cluster them into single cluster and it might give it as a positive comment uh, you know cluster so this means that you know using these vectors v1 and v2 using bag of words is a problem because v1 and v2 are not able to capture the semantic relationship in the reviews so first review v1 is positive but v2 is negative review but still they are very close towards each other so these are the 
basic problems that we have in bag of words the first one is you know as we discussed uh, the sparse nature of the you know of the vectors sparse nature of the vectors of the vectors which requires a large space to be you know used for storage because you know the dimension of the dictionary d can be very large and the second drawback of using bag of words for you know uh, for converting the sentences or words into vector is that these vectors are not able to capture semantic relation among the sentence or words so it's not able to capture that so we will look into uh, you know uh, the techniques to address these two problems and we will see how we can you know address these two fundamental problems and come up with the vectors v1 and v2 which are not sparse and also captures the semantic relationship among the sentences so we will see this in our next lectures thanks for watching my lecture see you next time.